Hey, how's it going, guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about an awesome, potentially leaked DLC that could be coming to GTA Online very shortly. So if you do like this video or find the information helpful, please feel free to drop a like on the video, guys. I would really appreciate it. Let's go for like 2,000 or 3,000 likes, whatever you feel like doing on this video, guys. Your support on the past few videos has been fantastic, and I do really appreciate it. And of course, let's get into the video. So that's right, similarly to how a lot of YouTubers found out about the Hipster DLC, this is the same way we're obtaining this information right here. Now this leaked DLC, a supposed DLC, is going to be called the Independence Day Pack. Now this is something that I have predicted on the Squadcast a long time ago, I would even say maybe like two or three months ago, whenever they first announced the spring updates, I said that something like an Independence or a 4th of July holiday was going to come for GTA Online. It's something that I thought would fit really well with the holiday theme that Rockstar wanted to continue to bring to the table and I thought it had some awesome opportunities for GT Online. So unlike previous DLCs we've seen so far, more recently the Hipster DLC, it doesn't give us any information on what is inside this, you know, leaked document or this leaked source that we're seeing right here. Now this might be two things. This one might be a very early representation of the Independence Day pack, or it also might be Rockstar cutting down on the information they put into these sources to prevent all the information from getting out. Because essentially before the Hipster DLC was out, we basically knew 90% of the cars and materials that were going to be inside that update. So there's a few things I think of when I think of an Independence Day pack. The first thing that comes to mind is very military-esque, you know, nations, armies, and whatnot. So I feel like that would work very perfectly with GTA Online. A video that I've watched by 2Dynamic, he actually talked about the idea that there might be attack helicopters and ATVs coming back. For those of you who don't know, there's like an ad on the Warstock Cash and Carry uh, little option. And if you go on there, there's a spot for ATVs and attack helicopters, and those are currently not in the game. So would they come along with something like this? a military DLC, I do think that would be pretty sweet. Another thing to think of is some cool styles of clothing and weaponry as well. Independence Day, again, all about independence, all about kind of military firearms, stuff like that. You also think of when the 4th of July, you think of fireworks and uh, celebration. So I wonder if there'd be a cool like prop or teaser weapon where they actually, you know, used fireworks or whatnot. So I do think there's a lot of potential for this DLC. Uh, it's something that I would be very excited for. As far as a release date, we don't have that yet. I wouldn't imagine the 4th of July because I don't think this is going to be an American holiday uh, only DLC. I think they'll do it sometime in mid-July, maybe after the 4th of July holiday. And I, I think it's a really good time because uh, the Hipster DLC will probably be out for about a month or so. And I'm always looking for something new and something cool and just some awesome additions to GTA Online. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below about the potential Independence Day DLC pack. I'd like to hear from you guys. What would you like to see in it? And of course, when would you like it to come out? Leave those in the comments section down below. And like I said, do leave a like if you did enjoy. Other than that, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.